the skis across that knuckle for that long with no flailing, no bobbling, just absolutely calm and collected. Coming in hot right now, one of those four prior winners. This is Park City, Utah's Colby Stevenson. <laughs> Colby Stevenson going huge. This is the knuckle of the big air jump, and they are landing so far down that landing. Normally when you do a knuckle hug at your local resort, you're gonna, you know, butter, spin, cork off the knuckle, try to catch some of that transition. Here, Colby Stevenson, look at those blue lines to designate the landing, to help the athletes spot the landing. Limitless on a knuckle this size. So if you're watching this and you're wondering, hey, how come we're not seeing any scores? We don't do that in this event. It's basically, we throw down the whole 20 minute jam session and it's just a big reveal at the end with the winner as we welcome in Austria's Matei sponsor for his first hit. Matei with the in-air pretzel. Matei has got to be one of my favorite athletes to watch this day and age in free skiing because of tricks like this. So creative, just absolutely laid out, then uses his arms to bring his feet back in a pretzel-like maneuver and the landings. Look, look how far he goes down the land. That's insane right there. Just you know there, Tom. It really is. I mean, queso included. No extra charge on that one. Here we go with Sweden's Jesper Shatter right now. Coming in switch here on his first attempt. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> the switch double backflip. Massive. Just sending it down the landing. He almost sent that thing to the parking lot here at the end of Aspen. Look at this. Just so well popped. And look at this. I mean, he's already traveling so far down the landing. Jesper is a crowd favorite for huge tricks like that. Just popping off the end of the knuckle and going huge. Comes around completely blind and just puts the landing gear down. Nursing a broken thumb right now, can't hold the poles, and just still absolutely loves this event so much he's out to play. Alex Hall coming in hot. He got the gold in 2020 in Norway, sending it deep here as we hit the 16-minute mark. Remember, it's a 20-minute jam session here at Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hub. I love this, buttering around, sort of Tokyo drifting around on that knuckle, then dives forward into that misty. I think we might need to hire a chiropractor on things we're seeing. I'm telling you, I'm about to text somebody and have a sense of I can broke into the booth because this hurts to watch with some of these spins right now. Looking at your defending winner in this event, Quinn Wolferman. Oh, so smooth. Really creative with the use of the tail butter. You see a lot of athletes pushing onto the nose or tail and just popping off it. Look how he rides on those tails, digs in the edges, and then goes for that sort of switch over flip out. It's just so hard to stay just on the tails, not catch an edge, not slow down, to be able to press and butter across that whole knuckle. It keeps so unique to him. Just straight legs that out on that last bit of rotation right there. Another thing to point out as well, we keep talking about how it's the big reveal at the end. It's about the overall impression in the jam session. So you may have one big run, but the judges are looking for overall impression here in this 20 minute jam session. Jesper buttering on the tails. So pushing, loading all of his weight, riding in a wheelie across that and then popping against it. Against How do you do that from that position? I mean, using it like a pogo stick to create some sort of spring and momentum <laughs> on that back ski, but just insane to get the momentum forward again. He just breaking the laws of physics. Springboard it straight into that. So we're at 12 and a half minutes left to go here. Chipotle Ski Knuckle Hub. This is Alex Ackle for attempt number two. Oh! <laughs> Onto the last dive line, Tom. So big. Anytime you see these athletes in one of those rotations, the Misty or the Rodeo, where they're diving forward, that's how you get that crazy amount of air. Pops off the noses, hits the tails, and then he's diving forward. So, so much further down that land, he's open looking, spotting, I mean, you can't mess that trick up going that big. You're going so far. He's got some serious support out there. You see all those hackle signs down there in the corral? We take it back up to the top here as we are just under the 12 minute mark. Henrik Harlow 
he got the win. We showed him from 2021 at the top of the show. Had a little bit of a rough go on that first attempt. Coming in hot here for run at number two. It's sending it. Oh, <laughs> Henrik Harlow. The best to ever do it out here. One of the most fun athletes to watch. The nose butter double cork 12. Just ginormous. So perfect. Look at this. Presses off the noses. The inventor of that trick tucks up. This is a slope style trick that he's just doing off the escapes Aspen 2023. We are in the middle of a 20 minute jam session here. We don't have any scores, we don't have any standings. It's just one medal handed out at the end of it all. It's a big reveal at the end. We start off at the top of the world once again with Yuna Congas sending it deep, Tom. I mean, just speed going every single run. It's like, well, they went pretty big. I guess I'm gonna go a little faster in this one. And here, look at the grab, reaching all the way over for that Cuban. Just so smooth, so stylish, never forcing anything. Okay, so Colt Stevenson, he got the win here in 2020, the first time this event was contested on the ski side of things. And there's a great shot right here with the follow cam, just to give you an idea of how far the trajectory is when they go off of that knuckle. See that ball cam, you see how fast they're going and also the fact it started to snow. The snow is picked up and he's coming flying into this. We saw Henry Carlo do the nose butter double cork. Colby Stevens says, says, I've got that trick as well. Is there a landing left down there? Did he miss it? He got Knucklehawk win in 2020 here and also slope style this year. So he's a two-time X Games gold medalist. So here we go with Austria's Matei sponsor. He's gonna go to the right of the lip this time around. Oh, double corking again. This is now becoming a, he did it, now I gotta do a competition. And that's what's so crazy about this for the judges. It's overall impression. It's how you ride in the entirety of this 20 minute jam session. So those guys have their work cut out for them down in the booth. Look at that, drags the hand, hand drag, double cork seven. I mean, his air awareness, the way Matei can just bend and move his body and get his feet back under him is unlike any athlete I've ever seen. So as we bring back in and Jesper and Shatter here, we are hitting the eight minute mark. Oh, yes, bro. Oh, what? Double front flip Branny. So dives forward on that first front flip, then on the second front flip rotation, stares at the ground and just twists the hips 180. Look at this, right here. Looks, opens up, puts his feet back under him. Just insane to be doing true double flips like this off of a knuckle. I was just gonna say, without a lift, he was gonna go down, and then you look at that on the replay, and it's like, wow, I mean, that was impressive. Four minutes to go here by the time Mr. Shatter hits the knuckle. <laughs> Jesper on his side, just rolling his way across that knuckle. I mean, he's having a heck of a session out here as well tonight. I think we gotta call that the worm turn. He really lays it down, goes full belly side <laughs> down, and then wraps it up into a 900. I mean, just using the, the size and scope of this landing here in this event with a little bit of time left on the jam clock. It looks like this will be the last round of runs. So we started off once again with Yuna Kungus. Remember, no scores, no rankings. It's just one winner and we get the big reveal at the end when it's all said and done. Overall impression, judges looking for variety, different tricks, different uses of the knuckle. And there, Yuna just uncomfortable, making it look so smooth, not just wrapped up, but also capping that grab. There you go, we're gonna get down to the one minute mark here, so when the jam session clock runs out, we will finish out the run order, and look at Colby Stevenson. Just, I mean, I wish we could hear the conversations and see the note taking that's going on in that judge's booth right now. I, I just wanna hear them talking at the top, like what are you gonna do? You gonna spin a 900 out of that, a 720, you gonna double court, single court, what? 
What are we doing? Look at this. Reaches to the off safety, just blasting down that landing. Oh, I mean, and the smart that skiing this fall and has had less time on the snow than most of the field out here. But speaking of snow, it continues to fall harder as we get deeper into the run order here. This is sweet. Jesper Shatter in for his final attempt. Jesper oh, one footed sort of a backslide across the knuckle. I mean, Jesper's in contention this year. He's got definitely the biggest, most circus, most crazy tricks. Those two double flips, true over the top, the body slide, that one footer, such variety. I mean, one of my favorite smiles, everyone. I mean, we've said this several times during this event, but I mean, it's worth repeating. I mean, everyone is just having a blast. You don't see the looks of pressure. Everyone's just out here having a blast, having a great time. I love this event. Yeah, and it's it's just gotten better every single year. Three skiers left to go. This is Henrik Harlow. Look how oh, he sends it. Henrik is definitely in the running too. He's been doing some really good variety the double cork the unique butters having a bit of trouble standing up there i hope he's okay it looked like he wanted to go for that tail tail butter double cork to, to back up the nose butter version which would have him really hard pressed to say he wasn't going to win this event again but still an amazing session for henrik hey look at him maybe smile on his face after that fall just getting up and chatting over with the fellas down there in the athlete staging area. Two skiers left to go here, Tom. Alex Hall. Oh, Alex Hall across the entire flat part of that jump on his side that ends up corked out as he airs down the landing. This one looks fun. You can see sliding sideways, lifts the skis fully up. I mean, he's he's basically boogie boarding his way across this knuckle. Just hip sliding off the roller there. And lands it, of course. Alex Hall's all 